big changes to performance max campaigns uh, and very exciting ones by the way Google just announced a couple of new options we'll have inside of performance max campaigns which I strongly believe will be the start of a new era inside of performance max I strongly 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 believe that right now is the absolute best moment for brands to put heavy budgets on Google Ads and really try to uh, turn Google into their main acquisition source as it's becoming such a powerful acquisition machine with Performance Max and especially now with these changes that Performance Max allows you to build this, this changes that just roll out for Performance Max and there is still to roll out in the next weeks. So as you can see here, uh, I did a little summary of the official announcement. Now we have some very, very interesting uh, new uh, options within this campaign. And by the way, as I mentioned before, right now is the absolute best moment for you to uh, really allocate some budget towards Google some serious budget. If you need help with your Google Ads, if you need help with these new implementations for Performance Max, make sure to click the first link in the description. We manage Google Ads for brands doing anywhere between 500,000 to 50 million a year, and we are happy to help you improve your current results. So without any further jump straight into the new uh, settings and the new options we have within this campaign. So just a quick fact here, advertisers whose performance max are achieving on average over 18% more conversions at a similar cost per action, which is the same as we are seeing between uh, amongst our clients. We see that performance max is our main revenue driver right now. And especially now with these new implementations and starting with the first one here, we will have very much more powerful campaign. So the first thing here is account level brand exclusions and campaign level brand exclusions. Uh, this is something that already rolled out. Account level negative keywords became available this month and allow you to exclude specific queries you don't want to show ads on for brand suitability or other reasons. So you basically can exclude the name of your brand from your account and not show for these terms. And the most most interesting part here is campaign level. So sorry, campaign level brand exclusions are also coming soon for added control. This is a game changer. Performance Max used to be kind of a black box between what's branded, what's non-branded. Uh, we we uh, from our test here, we saw that around 20% of our results on Performance Max were coming from some sort of branding term. So that's something uh, a lot of clients don't want to focus on. They don't want to spend a lot on brand. They want to have their branded campaigns at a limited budget and then have uh, the majority of their account being driven by non-brand, which is also something we focus a lot on here at Galeria Advertising. So this is great news. Now Performance Max would be a clean source of customer acquisition, pure customer acquisition, which is fantastic, is exactly what we were looking for. You'll be able to exclude your own brand terms and choose from a list of other brands to exclude as well, which is also something very, very nice. If you don't wanna be showing for your competitors, if you don't wanna be showing on Performance Max for other brands, which would probably result in a low ROI, then you can simply exclude their terms from your Pmax campaign as well. Also, page feeds to Performance Max. Uh, this is interesting. Performance Max has the auto uh, landing page targeting, and now they, they added an option, for, uh, an option for us to further improve the quality of this auto targeting. Uh, they're giving a little bit of the power back to our hands and uh, away from the AI. We are actually helping the AI here. Page feeds to Performance Max to help you further refine your results from search inventory. Um, send traffic to a specific set of landing page URLs on your website, which is very interesting. Now we can have, as I mentioned, a little bit more control. When you combine page feeds with final URL expansion turn on, which is a great feature we are using for almost all clients, uh, the keywordless AI technology use this collection of URLs to better understand which landing pages are most important to your business. So very, very, very interesting implementation that's coming soon to Performance Max. Uh, this is something very, very interesting, the third one, experiments. Now we can split test, and this is already available to some accounts. We can uh, split test Performance Max versus your account as a whole, your mix of campaigns, and Performance Max against uh, st standard shopping. You can split test with the same products and see which one makes more sense. Uh, I talk to a lot of brands 
in, in sales calls and, and intro calls to our agency. And most of them, uh, 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 they'll say that, yeah, Performance Max is performing better. But then a, a large percentage of these brands are also saying, no, we, we like standard shopping more. Now Google uh, finally uh, released this, this, this uh, feature that allows us to understand in a, in a very objective test how this works. So now what you can do here is performance max uplift, uplift experiment. You are basically going to add your performance max against your other campaigns and see which one performs the best. And the one that I think is the most useful here, performance max versus standard shopping campaign with the same products. So this is very, very, very interesting because they use the same feed and therefore the data will be uh, pretty much the same then you can uh, basically compare the difference there, see if all the extra stuff that Performance Max does make sense for you or no, or not, the other placements, the other uh, targeting options, and so on and so forth, the AI side of things. Next up we have, uh, I think this is uh, uh, after the first one here, the one that I like the most, which is ad group level conversion metrics. So uh, asset group, actually, I wrote it wrong here, but it's asset group level conversion metrics. Now, we not only, uh, this is the, the, the word that uh, I've seen people uh, describe performance max the most as is, which is black box. And in this case, uh, it used to be a black bo box in the sense that we, can, we could not see which asset groups were performing the best uh, apart from the feed, apart from the little product feed that we had inside each asset group. Now we'll be able to, which is a game changer, now we can finally start optimizing uh, our asset groups based on their performance individually. We can turn off, turn on, and so on and so forth, see what makes more sense. Uh, at the current state, we may have one very profitable asset group, which is driving a five, six times ROAS, and then uh, a couple others that are driving it one, two times ROAS, and then we, we have no idea. So we try to optimize all of them and we'll lose a little bit of performance. Now what we can do is simply turn those off and have the best performer as the primary revenue driver. So uh, uh, this is also something that's coming up soon. Soon you'll be able to see conversions, conversion value, cost, and a variety of other metrics at the asset group level. That's fantastic for performance max. Take action on this data to guide your, uh, your creative strategy and improve your campaigns. For example, you can test new asset groups to see how they contribute more to more conversions, which is what I just mentioned here. So very, very, very important change. Also, budget pacing insights. That's something that we're still going to see exactly how this is going to work. But see how much your campaigns have spent and are projected to spend along with your current and forecasted conversion perform performance. I believe this is going to be very useful for uh, brand spending with high spends as forecasting will be more precise. But uh, nonetheless, very interesting feature opportunity to change change or redistribute your budget to uh, drive more conversions. In addition, uh, get customized recommendations. And one thing to add here, I added a little comment, is uh, including where you could shift budgets between campaigns to get more conversions. So that's also important. They will give you, uh, um, they will give you insights as to uh, put more budget towards this campaign or that campaign or this asset group and this and that, and uh, you'll be able to have uh, more at least some help when it comes to budget and uh, budget allocation, which is very interesting. So those are the changes. They are soon to be rolled out. Some of them are, have already been uh, rolled out last month in February. Now, I strongly believe, as I mentioned in the beginning, this is the absolute best time for brands that are looking to acquire customers. If you're looking to acquire new customers for your brand, clean data, clean non-brand results, this is the best time for you to put money towards Google Ads and build your Google Ads infrastructure fast. Build a real creative strategy, build a real uh, copywriting strategy, build a real campaign strategy, and scale your campaigns and acquire new customers. I strongly believe Performance Max is the most uh, um, useful and the most powerful customer acquisition system we have right now in terms of advertising, looking at all platforms, including Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Pinterest ads, and some other options out there. I strongly believe PMAX is the absolute best when it comes to acquisition. So as I mentioned, 
If you have a brand and you're looking to get serious about Google Ads, click the first link in the description and schedule an intro call. It's a casual conversation where I'm going to take a look at your account, take a look at what's going on right now in your business and tell you exactly what you should do. It makes sense for you to run the ads yourself or it makes sense for you to join the agency and get your ads scaled. And then I'm going to break down for you exactly how we are going to actually uh, do it, show brands we are working with for now, show case studies and so on, so forth. So for this video, that's pretty much it make sure to use these new options you have within Performance Max as this is going to be a game changer in your acquisition strategy. And with that said, make sure to like, subscribe for more Google Ads news and I'll see you next week.